What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you can see, we're going to do one of these again. I should do a Q&A, but I thought this one's pretty uh, important, so I was going to have it all by itself, and then I'll do a Q&A coming up. And on top of that, listen to this, right? You all be bitching and complaining about not seeing my face, so what we're going to do today is put a little picture of me up at my prime, because I want to look at it myself, because... Um, I don't know, reminiscing. I'm looking like a scrub right now at 3 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to put that up right here. Bam! God damn! Damn, you look good. Hey, and the great thing about this, I'm still in my car, right? So, I mean, it's like I'm just not moving. So just check me out. Look at me. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm at my prime right here, looking good as fuck. I don't know what I am right now. Let's put the crown on there. Boom. Now, I'm just, now, it's, now it's all good, okay? So pretend I'm moving and talking to you guys, okay? As you can see right here, we have a situation where a girl is kind of in a dilemma. I don't think she's really in a dilemma, but if you had feelings, she's in a dilemma. So let's go over this. Why would my boyfriend say he feels trapped and suffocated by me? He mentioned he felt this way since February. I left him once because he cheated on me. Well, there's a, I mean, there it is right there. And I went to a concert with a friend, uh, but nothing happened. I forgave him, but he doesn't seem to forgive me uh, for going out. We fought, and he's just ignoring me now. She didn't ask me what to do. Uh, what what do I, what do I do, Elliot? Uh, well, here's the thing. I, you know, I, I mean, from his point of view, you are suffocating him. Okay. Uh, you know, I and I know you're suffocating him probably, but at the same time, you got what I would tell him is, dude, what do you expect? You, you cheated on me. Like, what, you, what do you expect me to do? Like, you know. Cheating brings out the demons in people, man. You know, what he did was, first off, I wouldn't even be with this fucker. The fact, hey, the, it says something. The fact that he's cheating on you, or he cheated on you, the fact that he cheated on you, but he doesn't forgive you for going out, says something so much about this guy's ego. I mean, damn it, how damaged it is, it's not even funny. You, I, I know he's insecure, because a lot of guys are like this. You know, I had a client uh, the other day who asked me uh, if a guy, you know, is always assuming that I'm cheating on him, does that really mean he's cheating on me? And I would say, you know, there's a good chance of that just because they're so insecure. The fact that this guy is, this is a manipulating tactic he's doing, right? He, he might not know it, you might not know it, but it is a manipulating tactic. The fact that he's doing something wrong, but then making you feel guilty for what you're doing, that's complete fucking bullshit. That's complete bullshit. And I know this guy's insecure because he doesn't like when you're going out with other guys who are just your friends. Again, just other guys who are your friends because he, you know, because that creates competition. He feels like he might lose you to another guy. He's insecure himself, and then to feel that ego, he, he. Uh, I'm not saying this is why he cheated, but the fact to feel his ego, he has to go out and cheat again to fill some void. That says it all right there. So I know you are suffocating him, but at the same time, can you blame? You know, I would, I would, I would look at him like, dude, can you blame me? You cheated on me. You probably gave me a fucking complex. Sorry for all the cussing, but I just know how this. The situation is, it really sucks. Cause, I mean, if I was, if this was me ten years ago, and I got cheated on, I'd freak out. I'd be freaking out. I would probably be needy and clingy if I was the uh, the guy. Well, I am the guy. If I was the one who got cheated on, I think I'm a guy. Last time I checked, uh, you know, if I got cheated on, I would be freaking out too. I would totally be freaking out, and I'd be hanging and clinging all over the person. And you know, nowadays I wouldn't. That wouldn't happen to me. I, I would just. I would drop that person so fast. It's not even funny. Again, woman, it says something about his intentions. It says something about who he is as a character. The fact that he's cheat. You like. I don't know. I, I mean, I do know why you're holding on to this. Just feelings, right? You can't. I mean, it's easier said than done. I understand when you when someone cheats on you. That doesn't make the feelings go away. It just, you know, it's just what he did was 120% you know, wrong. So I, I, I know where you're coming from. It doesn't make the feelings go away. And if it was up to you, you can just, you just want to make things better. But it's, it truly says something about his character when he cheated on you before and now he's making you feel guilty. And instead of working on it, he's saying, hey, you're suffocating me. You're annoying the hell out of me. Um, and now I'm just going to ignore you, okay? 
in my opinion, I think you, there's nothing you can really do because the, when a guy ignores a woman after you know so long, and again, see what sucks is you did nothing wrong. Like I understand why you're this way, but you're, you know, sadly the way and don't don't kill the messenger. This is just any any guy will tell you this, any relationship person will tell you this. The one who loves less wins. You know, I you know this guy just doesn't care as much as you do and the fact that you do is why you're hurting and why you're in this predicament this the situation and again it really sucks i know i know how it feels but like what can you do because here's the thing if you try you're going to hurt you're going to hurt the situation even more if you try to make it better you're just going to hurt yourself more because you're going to come off as the trapped you know quote unquote suffocating uh girlfriend and at the same time he's ignoring you so he's already annoyed he's already like fed up with you but if you don't do anything then nothing's going to change he's probably still going to, like he I could tell right now by him ignoring you and saying those things he just doesn't care okay and that, again that really sucks because I don't think you did anything wrong I know where you're coming from with this it sucks to get cheated on it sucks to be left for somebody else it sucks to be wondering if what you have is real and if you know the fact that you're feeling that says a lot in my opinion, if you're my client, I said this guy's this guy's a red. Well, he's not even a red flag. He's just he's just screwed up altogether, right? He's he's screwed up altogether. He's just a, he's a he's a lost case. Uh, oh, I'm gonna coin that term, lost case. Remember that, ladies, lost case. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna coin that shit. If you hear Husty or any of them saying that, burn. Who else is out there? Matt. Any of those people out there saying that? Uh, that's my term. So if they hear that, they come, they're a lost case. Okay. Uh, yeah, this guy, what, like seriously, what can you do? There's nothing you can do. You can sit there and try to make it better, but there are some things that are just so broken that it's not even worth it. It's going to take more damage and time and energy to make it work than to actually go off and find someone else who's on the same page with you, who is who sees you as worthy, who sees you as something special. Because this guy is taking you for granted. He does not care, and he's a complete bullshitter. So with that being said, hon, I'm sorry because, you know, it sucks that you're the one hurting from this because you're the one who actually gives a shit about what's going on. And as you can see, he does it from ignoring you and saying you're suffocating him. But he wants his space. He, he wants to end it. He's just not saying it. So if I was you, I would just drop it. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> With that being said, I love you. Take care. Peace.